Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the seventh video of my Fallout 76 Wastelanders main quest series, and we're going to be completing the quest of the New Arrivals. Just yesterday, we were over here at Foundation, convincing the settlers of Foundation that they needed the uh, Scorched Plague inoculation, and the previous day, we convinced the Raiders that they needed the Scorched Plague inoculation in order to protect both of these populations from becoming Scorched. Now, the only problem is we can't get them all into AVR Medical, where we got our inoculation, so we're hoping now that the Overseer has come up with some plan as to how to get the inoculation to all these people in a uh, timely fashion. So let's get back to the Overseer over in Sutton. There we are. All right, let's talk to the Overseer. Any luck with the newcomers yet? They convinced to accept our help? They've agreed. We just need the inoculation. Good. I knew I could count on you. I've been looking into where we can mass produce the inoculation. Some of the obvious choices are messy. But if you just sit back and ask yourself, who could have manufactured a lot of specially formulated liquid in sterile packaging, it becomes obvious. A consumer-grade food or beverage company, like Nuka-Cola. Exactly. Great minds, huh? The local plant even has all the equipment to make experimental beverages. Perfect for us hacking in the inoculation. The current occupants were giving me some trouble, though. I could use your help on this one. Meet you there? All right, time for us to head over to the Nuka-Cola plant. Okay, so the Nuka Cola plant is down here, just to the west of Charleston. Okay, so here we are. Now, according to the game, this is the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant, which would stand to reason that this would be the Kanawa River, then. Uh, the only issue with that being that, in reality, Point Pleasant is at the intersection of the Kanawa River and the Ohio River, which is what this is. So it's just one of those points where you realize just how jumbled the map of Appalachia is in the Fallout universe. Now, we've actually... Uh, been here before for uh well i mean i came here for a couple of different videos actually we came here to find uh some things for the tnt domes uh but along with that we really need to clean up around here uh but along with that we uh came up here during the nuka cola lore video the uh, wasted on nuka shine lore video because this plant has actually uh, this will be the second time that this plant has changed since the game launched uh, in the first case clean up this fix that seems to end. When uh, Wild Appalachia came out, they added a uh, new... Oh man, that's... I hate to see that, but... They added a new note. Oh. <laughs> Maybe something a little... There we go. Uh, they added a new note. So yeah, Lewis from the uh, Edisai Epsilon Tau house was actually here, and he provided a... Uh, a review of Nuka Cola Quantum, and they added that note uh, during Wild Appalachia. Okay. Oh, more feral bulls. It looks like there was a turret out here. It's been blown up. Scorched corpse here. Another one here. Alright. Let's head in. Okay. This is it. We need to get the power up and running, and reformulate the machines for the inoculation. Fire everything up, and try not to get killed. Alright, so the Overseer and I just fought our way through all the feral ghouls and the Wendigo that were living here. Uh, so now we have two things that we have to do. We have to both uh, enter the biometric scanner, which is that one, and check on the reactors, which uh, isn't showing up, but it's back there. Um, she did have a couple little pieces of dialogue, so when we get to the respective areas, I will insert those little clips. But let's head up to the biometric scanner. Actually, uh, yeah, let's do that because it's right here. I was going to say we need the power on for a lot of stuff, so. But let's head right over here. Nuka Cola scientists combine chemical substitutions to make new flavors. That's how we're going to trick it into making the inoculation. We just need to figure out how to make soda ingredients to produce human antibodies. Easy, right? To grab those bobby pins. This is a nice room for loot. I mean, look at that. Surgical trays, look at all that aluminum. Very nice little room here. Can use the uh, copper in that to make some 
uh, fusion cells. Anyway, okay, let's enter the biometric scanner. Oh, and I put on Polly's old helmet. <laughs> added your blood sample as an ingredient. I guess that technically makes you Nuka-Cola's newest flavor. Actually, maybe don't think about that too much. Alright, yeah, so uh, the other day, though, we got Polly's helmet, and I, uh, or Polly's old head, I should say. You can see there it says, Polly built the kill. I just didn't realize it went into armor. I thought it was maybe junk or the old weapon. Uh, anyway, though, let's head over here to the uh, flavor sequencer. We got a holotape here. Product brainstorming. Let's play this. Our latest market survey reports that healthy, on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. Our first experiments are going to look at reviving celery-flavored sparkling beverages. It's a beverage that has its origins in the 1860s and has a built-in recognition with demographics that crave outsider status. We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim. But right now, we're leading towards classic digestive beverage for the new generation. And or a green tonic water from America's greatest era. Okay. <laughs> a fake healthy beverage with celery flavoring. Lovely. Uh, Nuka-Cola flavor... <laughs> Nuka-Cola flavor sequencer. Reminds me of the equipment back at the vault Tech Ag Center. Let me know if you want me to take over. So yeah, we could have her do that as it is down here. We could use experiment log with the perception, or we could just splice our antibodies into the formula with intelligence. We're gonna do that. That's it. Now we just need to restart the reactor, then we can manufacture the formula. You carefully isolate the antibodies in your blood sample, and then use a simple recombinant splicing technique to turn the yeast ingredients into little vaccine factories. You think it will taste citrusy. Okay, let's uh... This is very strange to include, basically, bits of yourself and a uh, beverage for everyone. Okay, so let's get back to the reactors. There were a lot of ghouls in here, and uh, I found at least two of them that were just loaded down with Kims for whatever reason. Alright. I'm gonna go grab that Nuka-Cola Quantum. I still have the uh, urge to collect these things ever since uh, Fallout 3. Which is crazy to consider that that game came out almost 12 years ago at this point. Okay, so, reactors, examine. A complex set of reactors are wired together to provide power to the factory. They aren't working. So we could replace the power couplings, engineer a workaround, or jam random things together. I kind of want to do that just to see how that works. Good job! Wow, okay. We can take them. Jeez. Whoa. Okay. I really like that you can just jam random things together and their reactor starts back up. Okay, uh, let's head in here. Man. Okay. Let's get to the production equipment. I'm so conditioned with Fallout 76 when I hear uh, footsteps, I keep thinking that I've got a feral ghoul chasing me. Okay, so it wants us to go to the lab, I guess. Alright, so yeah, this is the testing area, and this is where uh, Lewis left his review in Wild Appalachia with him being, him thinking that he can rate the flavor profile to the thousandth. So, yeah, that tells you the kind of person you're dealing with there. <laughs> but let's head over here into the lab. And we have a Nuka-Cola manufacturing control. This is a new terminal. Let's see, uh, marketing protocols. Executive level clearance required. Please contact corporate for permissions. Then we have backlog. Whale shark. 
Project N9B2K12L. Project codename Whale Shark, version 0.32. Status on hold pending legal investigation. Requires corporate auth authorization. Uh, Orca. Project code N6K-0086. Project codename Orca, version 2.7. Status requires upgraded equipment to handle corrosive nature during processing. Product on hold pending equipment arrival. Oof. I don't know. If you've got a product that's too corrosive for your manufacturing equipment, I don't know if that's something that you should be consuming. Albatross. Project code NP7J-R903. Project code name Albatross version 1.24. Status. Placing in backlog per Dr. Hayward's request. Requires additional research into chemical reactions with gastric acid. Okay. Uh, manufacture new product. New flavor sequence detected. Before manufacturing can begin, the marketing department protocols insist that a full branding analysis be performed. Based on the flavor profile of unknown human antibodies mixed with sugar and carbon dioxide, what would you say the target audience is for this beverage? We got young people, 13 to 18, older professionals on the go, 25 to 35, and people who don't want to get sick and die. I'm going to go with people who don't want to get sick and die. Thank you for your mandatory input. Based on your choices, we predict the most appropriate color will be error color selector. Use default values, white with the red letters. With this color scheme in mind, what should the name of this new beverage be? Nuka-Cola Vaccinated, Nuka-Cola Scorched, and Nuka-Cola My Blood's In It. Oh god. I'm gonna go with Nuka-Cola My Blood's In It. Well, that was... I'm sorry, I... I just can't help but wonder what it was like to actually work here. <laughs> I mean, can you believe this? Your input has been processed and your beverage is ready for manufacturing. Please start the assembly line manually to begin. Okay. Nuka-Cola, my blood's in it. Let's get it going. Back to the manufacturing line. Well, I'll wait for you over here. Alright, she seems to be lost, so we're going to start this up. There she comes. Nope, she's still lost. Alright, here you come. There you go. Two nice cases of Nuka-Cola. My blood's in it, ice cold. That's it! Freedom from the plague, in a bottle. While you're handing those out, I'll start organizing things here and get a plan in place to get more to whomever needs them. Meet me back in Sutton when you're done. Sounds good. Okay, so we now need to visit both the crater and foundation. Let's head up to the crater. All right, here we are. Let's speak with Meg. You taking your sweet time with that inoculation? Here you go. This is the inoculation you promised? Bottles of Nuka? You best start talking, 7-6. Technically, it's an oral inoculation whose distribution vector is a carbonated beverage. Clearly. And you can spare me the details. Wouldn't want you to hurt that brain of yours trying to use all the fancy words. <laughs> I'll make sure it gets distributed. Looks like you're off the hook, 7-6. See you around. No reaction to the cola name, huh? Okay, let's head back down to uh, Foundation. Alright, let's deliver this inoculation to Paige. Everyone pulls their own weight at Foundation. Still waiting on that inoculation you promised. Here you are. What's this? Nuka Cola. Nice looking label, I guess. What gives? Yes, I know, but it's real. Fine. Everyone could use a drink anyway. Still don't know what to think of you, Vault Dweller. But, well, saving us from your plague is a good start. You watch out for you and yours out there. Alright, again, no comment on the name. Come on! I specifically made it as unappetizing as possible. Okay, let's see. We gotta go back and talk to the Overseer. My guess is that she's back in Sutton. 
Yep. All right, here we are. Let's talk to the overseer. Is it done? Do they have the inoculation? Everything done in accordance with vault tech procedures. You know, all your talk about the vault tech training and thinking about the old days, I almost... Well, never mind. I'm just glad everything worked. Now that one crisis is over, it's time we start working on that mystery in the mountains. Have you heard the latest? I've gotten to the door. Vault 79. Sealed tight. Exactly. And that's made the rumors about what's inside grow wild. We don't have a way in, but I think I have a plan to at least find out what's inside. Every student who graduates Vault Tech University has a story about the restricted wing where all the higher ups would have their meetings and not just stuffy professors and their mr handy assistants i mean sit downs with government officials the military halls full of vault tech secrets sounds like a dream uh right anyway i'll meet you there okay so that finishes the new arrivals. Let's see what we get out of that. Water, fusion cells, and a plan for shadowed metal armor chest. Okay. And I guess a legendary piece of leather chest armor. Now, the only reason we had the ability to tell her that, yes, we've been to the door of Vault 79 is because this character has completed the uh, unmarked quest at the Grafton Pawn Shop. If you're interested in doing that, you can check out my little series on it. I'll link it in the end of this video. So, now we're going to have to go to uh, vault -Tec University and uh, explore it with uh, the Overseer. But that's going to have to wait for next time, because that's going to be an extensive amount of work there. So that'll do it for this video. We've spread the inoculation to the newcomers, and we're now going to find out what's in Vault 79 coming up next. This has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.